look in the mirror Man, you're so dirty Yeah, you look so dirty You were never worthy Lately, it's you Welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show If you're easily triggered, leave now Because this is not the show for you Now, what I'm going to be doing, ladies and gentlemen Is simply this one thing right here I want the men, the middle-aged, but especially the younger men, to hear what I'm about to say. Because what I want to show you is how a woman can destroy everything you ever worked for. I want you to see how when you make a bad decision in a mate, when you decide to get with a woman based on looks alone instead of her character, how it can pull you down. There are many men in prison right now behind a woman. There are many men who have lost their lives in a shootout behind a woman. There are many men who have taken their own life and deleted themselves behind a woman. And this is for educational purposes, this video here. I want you to really pay attention to what I'm about to show you. Give me a second as I pull on your screen because y'all really got to see this, man. Hold on one second, y'all. I want y'all to really educate yourself and educate the younger men in this situation because there's a lot of men right now who are not being fathered, who are not being taught about the dangers of being with a woman. There's nothing wrong with being a woman, but it's also, we must acknowledge that there's a double-sided coin here. There could be benefits with being a woman, and there could be some negative, tragic events that follow that will ensue when you decide to be with the wrong woman. This is really, really important, man. You got to understand this. I, I got some facts there and statistics that I'm going to show you. Let me go ahead and get into this. Hold on. Listen, fellas, when you are on a journey to success, please be careful about the women you have in your life. Look at all the successful athletes, musicians, just all the successful men, period. Most of the times they get in trouble is because of a woman. Their downfall is always a woman. Nine times out of 10, their downfall is because of a woman. And there's times they're in the wrong and the woman's in the wrong, but guess what? It always involves a woman. Like one of my favorite fighters, Javante Davis, he just recently got arrested for some, uh, it was a domestic violence case, but everyone talking about some, oh, Javante Davis is a woman abuser. We don't know what happened. I've been in situations where a woman came after me, punching and hitting on me and the cops are called and they're trying to take me to jail. I didn't do anything. Now, let me tell you something. <clears throat> That is 1 million percent true. I've been in situations like that. Now, they're going to have some ignorant people who never really been around women or who never been in these streets to understand what the fuck I'm going to say. Sometimes you cannot avoid it. Sometimes you're trying to get away from that woman. Sometimes you're trying to walk out and that woman would pursue you, throw shit at you, try to hit you, try to scratch you. You can be in the car. Like I said, I said a story of mine a long time ago. I had a partner, right? He was sitting in somebody else's car with a different woman. He had a woman of his own, but his main lady caught him with the side chick. He's inside the car, windows down. She started throwing them bowls or punching them and stuff like that. He couldn't get away from that. He opened the door and had to push her down in order to defend himself. Okay? Now, we're going to come back to this gentleman. Right now, I'm going to read you some stuff that you need to understand here. Hold on right quick, y'all. Give me a moment as I put on your screen. I want you to see how dangerous dangerous it is to be with the wrong woman one second as i pull on your screen i'm trying to pull up right now i gotta read the statistics to you okay now look at this right here look at this right here it says how many people have been falsely imprisoned conservative estimates suggest that one percent of the 2.2 million individuals in u.s prisons are innocent that means at least 22,000 people are behind bars for crimes they did not commit. A lot of women have sent many men to jail behind a lie. And then they find out about the truth and get exonerated 15, 20 years later. I had a homeboy of mine back in the day where a woman accused him of forcing himself upon her. Found out she was lying in court. She said it. She admitted it. She didn't want her main man, which was her husband, to find out that she was an adulterous whore. But my friend could have went to prison for X amount of years. Let's keep going. Now, look at it. How much do wrongly accused prisoners get paid? 50,000 per year. What does that mean? 
every year that you're locked up behind a woman lying on you, you get paid $50,000 after you are exonerated for each year you're there. The kicker is this. Most men only make, average men, make $50,000 a year or a little bit over that. That's the average annual income of men. So basically, you're not making shit. It's as if you was actually working at your regular job and earning $50,000 a year. Except in a situation like this, you go to certain prisons, man. They find out that you touched kids or that you took uh, advantage of a woman. Your life in jeopardy. They're going to hurt you or end you in prison. You have to be careful about who it is you choose to be with. Now, here's an example of a woman who lied. Now, look at this. It says here, this is from a month ago now, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, woman lied about man attempted to rape and kidnap her because he looked creepy. Gets him jailed for one month. She lied on the man because he looked creepy to her. He went to jail and spent time in jail for at least one month. The only reason why he was in there for just one month is because they found out later that she was lying. If they did not discover that this woman was lying on this man, that one month would have been five to ten years. She ain't a bad looking woman. No tell what her shape looked like. You got to be careful, gentlemen, about the woman that you are dealing with. This is a life and death situation. A woman has ruined so many things. If you're a religious person, think about Eve. We're in this whole situation because Eve decided to leave the authority that was placed over her by God, which was to follow the instruction of the man. Since she disobeyed him and suckered him into also disobeying God, here he is right now, getting sick, dying, might go to hell, might go to heaven. You hear what I'm saying? A woman is the most dangerous thing walking this planet. I'm not trying to exaggerate. I'm telling you the truth. A woman is one of the most dangerous things that draws breath on this planet when it comes to men. You have to be careful with who you choose to be with. Now, let's get back to what this gentleman had to say. This is important, y'all. He's telling some real stuff. So at the end of the day, you can't just say, oh, well, he's a, a, a woman abuser. Man, mostly a lot of these women are crazy and they put their hands on men first. And then when a man, a man hits them back, all of a sudden they're in the wrong. That's just how the world operates. The system is always in favor of the woman. Always. And that's what I'm saying. Like, man, be careful, man, because a lot of these women will be your downfall. They will be your downfall. And it sucks that it has to be that way, but you just have to be careful. Cause sometimes women get mad, they get real petty. They get mad, especially a woman who is not emotionally stable. Yeah, she may look good and all that, but she'll be the main, the same reason you won't be become successful. That's why I just, I, I really be careful and mindful about the women that I bring into my life because I had, past issues in my life where women literally were about to be the cause of my demise until one day I said you know what I have to use my discernment better and and listen to my intuition and and go with that and ever since I start living that way I really don't get into any situations with women anymore I, I end it immediately because I don't have time I want to elevate I want to be the best father I want to be the best person I could be mentally spiritually physically and I can't do that with a negative person in my life dragging me down you see he was able to see it before it got out, before it got out of hand a lot of men don't see it until it's too late a lot of men have lost their lives behind a woman a lot of men have been put in jail for a lie that a woman told, okay? A lot of women have destroyed men's careers. A lot of women have showed up showed up at people's jobs and caused problems to where they got fired. 
A lot of women have poisoned men. A lot of women have ended the lives of men with violence. You hear what I'm saying? A lot of women have got STDs that was incurable, which had the potentiality of ending a man's life. They found out about it, and out of revenge, out of spite, decided to sleep with that man because they are upset with him. A lot of men have went through situations to where they could not see their children because of a woman. You hear what I'm saying? A lot of things come to men that destroy them by the hands of a woman. You have to be careful with these women. You must handle women like a live wire. You cannot assume that because they are pretty and they look so gentle and soft that they cannot harm you. They can harm you, harm your mind. They can harm your spirit. They can manipulate your soul if you are not able to recognize game. And at the same time, they can plot to where they can have you meet them somewhere. And other men, Pookie, Ray Ray, and Nook Nook, people that she's already dealing with, will rob you and end your life and take the things that you have work so hard for. There are a lot of women out there right now who are killers. There are a lot of women out there right now that are drug dealers. There's a lot of women out there right now that are gang bangers. There's a lot of women out there right now who are evil. Do you understand what I'm saying? And I'm not saying all women are like that, but I'm saying that the mass, the majority of women are. We see it all the time. I play all these cap, these um, cop cam videos and one did yesterday of women acting like a complete mustard back heifer, just crazy as hell, just violent as hell, just mean as hell. Most women today are mean-spirited and hateful-hearted and don't care about nothing more but they own selves. They only care about pleasures of life. They don't care about life, they just care about getting pleasures out of life. They don't even care about their own life. In fact, you say, how do I say that? Why do I say they don't care about their own life? Simply because of the fact that they're willing to do anything for a dollar. They willing to sacrifice their dignity. They're they're willing to sacrifice everything moral, everything wholesome about being a woman. They're willing to throw away their parental rights. They're, they're, they're willing to throw away what it means to be a woman just for a dollar, just to have fun, just to go smoke, just to do this, just to sniff lines, just to drink, just to do everything they want to fucking do. Most of these women don't care about men. Most of these women care about themselves and about how a man can help them get to the level that they want to get to. A lot of these motherfuckers don't give a fuck about you, cuz. I'm telling you the truth, man. And I'm not trying to be mean, but if you think I'm being mean, I really don't give a shit. If you knew him, this is one of those channels where I... Or where you ain't gonna hear no political correctness. I'm not trying to be all fancy and shit and use big words, no. I speak to you through common sense. And from the wisdom that I've acquired of from 46 years of living on this planet. A lot of people I've known, I know, I can think of Oren, Marcus, Chris. I can think of off the top of my head, three men growing up who is dead behind a woman. One dude, was killed by, I ain't gonna say his name. He was, he was, I'm gonna say deleted YouTube. He was deleted. It was one of them love triangles. He was smashing the girl that he liked. This dude came up, started shooting at him, hit him in the leg and stuff, and then put two, three in his head. Closed casket. This was when I was in high school, ninth grade, I believe, ninth or 10th grade. Another friend of mine went to the military, became an officer. Did real, real good in his life, man. Got with a woman he fell in love with. She didn't want him no more. He ended his own fucking life, man. Had everything going for him. Making good money in the military behind a woman ended his life. I know another man, which is my cousin, Marcus Goodwin. Shout out to the fam. Ended his own life behind a woman that didn't want him no more. I had an uncle who actually ended someone else's life because the person, how can I say this? My uncle Harry, first black postmaster in where I'm from originally in Central Texas before I moved to Houston. Now, he was seeing a woman. Shout out to the Stansberry. I got love for you. My cousin, first cousin, Brandon um, Stansberry, Jason Stansberry, and Letitia Stansberry, and Hello to their mother, uh, Miss Doris. Now, I'm get back to what I'm saying. Harry James, one of my favorite uncles, okay? He got in a situation where he was screwing this, this woman. From my understanding, she belonged to another man or this other man want to put that claim on her 
that she belonged to him. He smoked that fry. I don't know what y'all um, call it where you from. It's in bombing fluid. I think sometimes y'all call it Sherm or Angel Dust or whatever. So he came up on my uncle. Now, I'm from the country. We build shit. He was building a port from my understanding. This man came up on my uncle with a 12-gauge shotgun, high as fuck on that Sherm, man. Came up there threatening my uncle, and my uncle old school, big dude. He was a big dude, man. Big, You'll love him if you ever met him, man. He was good people, man. Uh, I'm saying that because he passed on and stuff, you know what I mean? He was a great guy, man. But anyway, he came up on him. My uncle was building a porch. Went to his head with that hammer. Got off for self-defense. He didn't go to jail. But it was over a woman. Y'all better understand, man, how dangerous a woman really is. A woman is extremely dangerous to your success, dangerous to your lifestyle. If you are one of these tender dick ass motherfuckers who just assume you put a dick in a woman, you in love with her, she pretty and shit, you are destined for destruction because you don't love yourself. You better understand, man, that coochie is like a bear trap. You ever seen a bear trap in the woods? You ever made a trap in the... Well, you, some of y'all ain't from the country. You put a trap out there, you put bait in it, you know what I'm saying? They get in it and they crunch them. And they can't escape. It causes them great pain while they're there. A lot of you are in a fucking bear trap right now with a woman. You want to get away, but you can't because you're too emotionally attached to that bride. And she knows it. And she's manipulating you. And she's going to use it against you. And she's going to drain you for everything you got. You better understand what you are dealing with. Because a lot of women out here... Do not wish you well. They don't have, they don't give a shit about you. Now, there are some women out there that are not like that. But I've seen too many dudes, even in gangs, when I'm cripping and everybody else that I've seen, man, fall out behind a woman. I'm talking about gangsters. I'm talking about people who pack that iron and go pop, pop, pop. I'm talking about people that will do home invasions. I'm talking about people who get gangster, put hands on you. A woman made them weak pillow talking to a broad. Y'all better wake the fuck up, man. This shit ain't no joke, man. It ain't no joke, man. It ain't no fucking joke, bro. It ain't no joke, man. I think about it, man. Chris Hubbard, Orin Booth, I'm, I'm naming some people I know over a woman that I grew up with, man, that's dead, man dead. Chris Hubbard died before he became an adult. He was in his teens like I was over a woman. Marcus Goodwin died when he was in his early 20s over a woman. Um, I want to say Oren Booth, he died in his early 30s or late 20s over a woman. I'm telling you shit that I fucking know. I'm telling you what I know. I grew up in this shit. I've been around this shit, man. Life ain't been pretty for me, man. I had some advantages and I had some disadvantages. You dig what I'm saying? But I'm telling you what I know, man. There's a lot of men that I know and a lot of men you may know and a lot of men that you don't know who ain't living right now behind a damn woman. Behind a woman, man. There's a lot of men locked up in prison over a lot that a woman told. You got to consider this shit, man. You got to consider this shit. This ain't no joke, man. You run around, oh, I'm a pimp, I'm a pimp. I pimped. I gang bang. And I'm going to tell you something. What you think of a pimp is not what a pimp is. Oh, I'm out there. Oh, I'm out there. I got bras. I got bitches. I'm the. I'm tell you something. All it takes is one woman. It don't take two or three. It takes one woman to shut down every damn thing that you try to create, nigga. Do you hear what I'm saying? This this ain't no joke, man. This ain't no joke. You find men fight over women that ain't shit. You find men that will. In another man's life over a woman who ain't shit. Like when I think about Chris Hubbard, as soon as the dude ended Chris Hubbard's life, he, the dude who ended it, I want to say his name out of respect, he went to prison for so many years. Chris Hubbard ain't breathing no more. You know what that broad did, cuz? You know what that bitch did? Start fucking another nigga. Got what? You know how many other men came after that death of Chris you dig what I'm saying? Cause I'm trying to tell you real shit. A lot of men, man, they go to school, they get degrees, man. They go to trade school. They go to job court, cause they do all this shit, Logan. And then the next thing you know, they get with the wrong motherfucking woman. 
And when they get with the wrong motherfucking woman, all that positivity that they were striving for goes down the toilet. I know men that was good men that wasn't really in them streets. You dig what I'm saying? Get with a bad chick, a bad bitch. But she had a little thing where she liked to play with her nose. Sniffing lines, sniffing that powder. Introduced that nigga to the cocaine, man. He gets on that shit. Now, next thing you know, he doing the wrong thing to get that shit. But it's a plan. A lot of bitches were playing. A lot of women who are fiends or some shit that got a habit like that, man. What they would do because they can't really afford their own fucking habit, man. They'll try to get a motherfucker on that same shit that fucks with them so they can get, they can leech off of them. Because if this dude had a, came from a well family, a well-off family, so she figured, in my opinion, if I get him on this same shit that I'm on, shit, he gonna have the money to get the shit I need, cuz. I'm just letting you know. A lot of women are like this, man. They'll try to turn you out. There's a lot of dudes out there right now that are playing with other men's booties, bisexual like a motherfucker because it was introducing them from a woman. Talk about it. Oh, I don't give, I'm not, I'm not scared. I'll tell you every damn thing. You don't gotta agree with the fuck I say, but I'm telling you the truth. There's a lot of men being turned out one way or another behind a woman. Women have more power than you think they do, but it's only powerful on a weak mind. Anyway, um, let me say this. You know, uh, this will be the last video. Not this is gonna be the last video, but I'll be back Monday. I take um, Friday, Saturday off, and probably Sunday or sun Saturday, Sunday off. And Monday I'll be back, but I will be having um, a live stream talking about how God wants you to be able to cut people off. We gotta learn how to cut people off, and I'm gonna use scriptures to teach about that. Okay, and that should not be this upcoming Sunday. It will be the Sunday after. I'll put it in the community tab so y'all know when it will be. Let's continue. I'm sorry about the rant, but let's keep going. I just, I, I can't deal with it. And, and ladies, same for you. Be careful because there are men that are the reason for a lot of women's downfall. But unfortunately in history, if you look at it, most men, their downfall always comes from a woman. Most of the time. That's just how it's always been. You can look back in history. <laughs> Literally, women have ended whole kingdoms. <laughs> like, yeah, be careful, man, for real. And he told you the truth, man. Anyway, you let me know what you think about this content. Um, I'll be talking to y'all soon. I'll be having the mustard back health shirts hopefully by next month, man. I'll be putting it out there for y'all, man. Um, but really, pay attention to what I, this, this this particular episode, man. Please, please, I implore you, man. This episode right here, man. Please take this to heart, man, because there's a lot of brothers out there, man. A lot of brothers who are losing it behind a woman. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. You let me know what you think about this. Yeah, have a good one now. You hear? Ooh, 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 ooh.